Welcome back to the Roadshow this morning in the buzz. U.S. Representative Patrick Kennedy is blasting the media as despicable, accusing it of ignoring the war in Afghanistan even as troops continue to die there. Now, the whole thing happened during a debate on a resolution to withdraw U.S. troops from Afghanistan yesterday, and that resolution was defeated later. But this morning, Kennedy's fiery speech is still causing quite a stir. Take a look. If anybody wants to know where cynicism is, cynicism is that there's one, two press people in this gallery. We're talking about Eric Massa 24-7 on the TV. We're talking about war and peace, $3 billion, a 1,000 lives, and no press. No press. You want to know why the American public is fit? They're fit because they're not seeing their Congress do the work that they're sent to do. It's because the press, the press of the United States is not covering the most significant issue of national importance, and that's the laying of lives down in the nation for the service of our country is despicable, the national press corps right Gentleman's now. Gentlemen's time has expired. So an impassioned speech. Now, of course, you'll remember that Kennedy announced last month he would not seek a ninth term in Congress. Uh, what do you guys think? I mean, when you saw when you saw those comments and the way that he um, spoke. I love it. I yeah. think it's great. Yeah. I think it's nice to see a, uh, a politician that is passionate like that, that really cares about a certain topic, and he's done it with uh, mental health. And I've done a lot of work with Butler Hospital, so I, I applaud him for his passion for all the things that he... I don't agree with everything Patrick Kennedy right. believes in, but to see a, a, a politician really get fired up about something like that, I'd like to see more of them, yeah. because, you know, he's right about a lot of the things yeah. that he's passionate about. Yeah. All these guys just stand there with their fancy suits and yep. their spray-on tans there in Congress and just, you know, want to yeah. be on TV. And be, it's the good old boys. Yeah, you know, and it's just, that's good to see. I like it. What about you, Ben? I was going to say the exact same thing. Yeah. Good work, Pat. It's great to see somebody, you know, with that much emotion, that much passion about something they care about, yeah. you know? I will say this. I totally agree with what you guys are saying about the passion and everything, but I will say this. We in the media are simply, we simply hold a mirror up to the American public. And what we put out there, I mean, the road show wouldn't be on TV if, if you didn't like what you were watching. So the thing is, a lot of times... The things that we cover in the media are perpetuated by if people actually want to see it. Sometimes you get the. Sometimes as a journalist, you really it really feels good to be able to tell people what they want to know and what they need to know. And sometimes you simply tell them what they need to know. But I think the real root issue is not necessarily the media, but that I mean, you've you know you've probably met people with your dad living in Scotland. Uh, Europeans, especially younger Europeans, are far more uh, involved, oh, far more, more aware. Goes which here goes than, here. Than kids are and I here. and I think ridiculous. part of the problem here is that you know a, a lot of people actually were criticizing the media, media saying, you know, we're showing so many pictures of the war that people are getting desensitized to it. And I think what's really happening here is that the American public is not as invested in current events and concerned about this as they should be. And that it's not simply the media, but the media is taking the brunt of that uh, because we're, you know, yeah, we're how showing... How many kids in high school or college even pick up a newspaper? Right. Well, you thing. know what I mean? Right, yes. exactly. And, you know, they get their news on MTV. They get their news from people's Facebook statuses, which we talked about. Yeah, the other and you know what? Here's the thing. You vote with your remote. You vote with your yep. remote. You really do. And if you change the channel every time something comes on that has to do with the war, you're sending the me a message to, to the media saying, okay, this is not what they want to hear. Now, a lot of times we say, listen, you still have to hear this and we're going to present it to you. But I think that if people were more involved and more fired up about this, that, uh, that it, would, it would send a clear message. I like and your I'm I, passion. I like your passion. I like your passion. And, I, and I'm going to throw it to Courtney. <laughs> Because I know people are talking about this this morning, Court. <laughs> they are. It's so funny because I pre-post things on our Facebook page and it really gets them jazzed up and they can really comment off each other. So we've got about 10 on there. I'd like to read a few, but we'll head to the blog first on foxprovidence.com. This is from Joe A. He said, I thought it was a little too much. It's okay to not like what the media is doing, but not blowing up the way he did. Not a good thing to do in public TV. Lisa says, I agree with him. He's right. And one artist says, he's got nothing to lose. Let's take a look at the poll we have on our homepage. You can find that right under the blog. What do you think of Kennedy's behavior? A, he was way out of line. B, he was making a passionate point. Or you can also weigh in on our Facebook page where I've posted the link to this story. Let's run through some of these comments here. The first one is from Bob Morris, and he says he's right about the news media not covering our soldiers who have volunteered to serve this nation in war. Although we did fly off the handle, it was kind of funny to watch. Corey Freitas says he let his guard down and showed his feelings. Nothing wrong with that. 
Daniel Slavin says a little too late. He speaks out now that he is on his way out. He blames it all on the lack of media coverage. Why has he not been shouting from the hill all along if he's so upset about Afghanistan? And uh, Deborah Drama says he's right. I agree with him. So both sides as usual, which is good. I'm so glad to see our viewers weighing in and being passionate about our buzz topics. But I'll be back in about a half hour with those poll results. For now, we're going to head back into the kitchen. Lily, what's grilling?